Alright, so this game, I am Poppy against Vlad. I noticed that he has Ghost Nag Knight, so this means I can't actually catch him that easily because he has his pool, which will slow me, and he has Ghost to get away from me. So that pretty much counteracts my Ghost. Fortunately, I still have W, so if I can make him burn his Ghost, I can probably catch him. Also, he has Ignite, which does a ton of damage to Poppy, so I have to be wary of that, especially if his ult is on me. So here we go. Let's get to lane. I'll speed right ahead. Just moving along. Do 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 do. Alright, so I was helping helping Olaf a bit. So here I get to lane. I'm pretty much just gonna farm for now. Because I can't do any damage to him early on until I at least have charge and my Q. So I can use my charge to get onto him, and I can use my Q to do some damage. So I always, if I don't plan on harassing early, I usually get E first, because it lets me escape from ganks by charging creeps, or by charging the person who's ganking me. So if you get more experience with Poppy, you'll find that it's almost impossible to gank you to get a kill out of you. you might, they might feel a burn ghost, but that's, that'll be the best they can do, because you basically, they can do some damage, and you will ghost, and you will get away from them before they have a chance to kill you, especially at early levels. So yeah, I see Vlad's harassing me pretty heavily, so I decided to use my health pot. And now I'm just going to farm the tower. Like, he cannot do much to stop me. So now I have enough gold for my philo, which is really good. Got my boots, got my philo, got a pot. This is pretty much where I want to be. So I'm just going to run back to lane and farm at the tower. There's not much I can do to like, deal with his harass at the moment. I just have to basically survive. But there's not much he can do to me either. So I'm just going to speed this along because it's mostly just farming. Like, yeah, I stay back. When I see a creep is low, I will try to run in usually. I see Olaf is here, so if Olaf landed that axe, we might have been able to kill him. But he did have Ghost on, so it would have been tough. So now I'm going to go harass him. I would have tried to kill him, but unfortunately Malphite came. So that would be a bit too risky for me. So he pushes, and I'm just going to find the tower. So it looks like he's, you know, winning the lane pretty heavily, but in actuality, like, his CS, 45, I have 49. This is a really even matchup. Like, he doesn't have the damage to push me out of lane, and I'm not going to let him kill me. So I'm just going to keep farming for a bit. Do, 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 do. Farm, farm, farm. So I'm stunned Vlad. I can actually chase him a bit. Like, he cannot actually, like, yeah, I'm, I can drop some harass on him, but I can't really kill him. I don't have the mana pool for it, plus my ignite's not up. I basically need him to stand his ground and fight me for me to kill him right now. So I go back, get my Merc Treads to reduce damage from Vlad, and then back to farming. I mean, there's not much else for me to do at the moment. So farm, farm, farm. Olaf is coming. And unfortunately, I think Vlad has a ward here, so he sees Olaf. But Olaf goes around, so I stun Vlad into a wall. I ignite him, I ult him, and we go kill him for first blood. So that's really good for us. So here, Olaf actually baits Malphite with his heal. But unfortunately, we get creep blocked and cannot actually kill Malphite. So that was a little bit of bad luck right there. Alright, so Vlad's back. I'm just gonna, you know, throw some harass on him. Can't actually kill him. But I can, you know, keep him busy with, like, killing, killing creeps. Like, using his Q on creeps instead of on me. So I actually get a heal from Sirocco, so that's cool. He actually takes my tower, which is unfortunate. Like, he's, he pushes a bit too hard for me. But I can at least farm pretty well against him. And late game, I can easily kill Vlad. So right now I'm just farming. And there's not much for me to do. I decided to go to Dragon because, well, we might be able to do it, especially because we saw Vlad top. But then Vlad has all my mates down here. So I actually stun him into a wall. I decided to go for him. So I actually kill him. But Ari picks me off. Um, I decided to go for a kill because I know that I can 1v1 Vlad very easily late game. 
So, even my team's doing work here too, so that's fine. So, I'm just farming. Basically, once I get my phage and my sheen, I should be able to take Vlad on 101. So, yeah, he actually ults me right there for almost no damage. I'm just harassing him. I'm gonna back though because I wanted to get. Well, I wanted to get some more items. Plus, I didn't want to be too low because someone pinged that. Someone said, like, someone was top, so I decided to play safe and just back off. So I, I got my page now. This is a really good time for me. Like I can probably pick off Vlad if I get a chance. It'll still be kind of tough though. So yeah, I decided to go on Ari, which is a huge mistake. I cannot catch Ari. Um, she just jumps around too quickly for me. So Ezreal, Anivia tries to pick off a kill on Ari, but gets killed. So that's unfortunate. So I decided to go on to Ezreal here. We actually do get one more hit on him, and Olaf just finishes him off. So that was good. So I see Vlad's up top, and but he backs off, so I decided to just take the creep wave here. So yeah, they're doing dragon. So I run down there. I actually run to RE. Or rather, Ari runs into me. I ult Ezreal, and I stun him into a wall. And unfortunately, he's a little bit... has a little bit too much HP. Fortunately, he stops and lets me kill him. I don't know why he did that. That was silly. But it was a, still a 3 for 2 so not really in our favor. I consider stopping the dragon, but I decide it's too risky, and I almost, I almost have a trinity, so I just go for that. So we actually pick a blue out for Anivia, and I decide to go on Vlad. So I stun, I charge him, I Q him, I ghost. So he's not getting away from me. Like he's ghosted too, but I run faster, especially with charge. So I kill him. And I decide, you know, we could do Baron, we could do Baron for sure. But Anivia actually does find Malphite here and slows him. So I charge a creep to catch up to him, and Anivia picks up the kill. So that's really good for us. So right now we're in like indecisive as whether what we want to do. We actually should do Baron, but um, yeah. So yeah, we go do Baron. I think Ari jumps in. Yeah. So Ari actually destroys Corky. So yeah, Corky dies. So that's unfortunate. And we decided to back off. We got Baron. That was good. Like that was a really good trade for us. So I'm just back, I'm just gonna farm these creep waves and back. So I pick up a Negatron cape because they have a ton of magic damage, Ari and um, Vlad. Ezreal does a little bit, Malphite does a little bit, Janna does a little bit, so it's a good choice of item. So I'm just running, I throw some wards down, Could pretty much go back top. Vlad actually comes, and I notice that my ghost is almost up. And I have Ignite and ult, so I just had to go kill him. So yep. And Vlad is dead. I got a heal from Soraka. It wasn't really necessary though, so um yeah. So I'm just pushing top because I know Vlad's dead and no one's gonna be up here to stop me. I pick up my build dry cut list, so I have a slow. This will make it really easy for me to stop Vlad. I can literally push Vlad out of our fights and then kill him up by myself. So Anivia walls Ari, and I actually stunned her into a wall, so that was really good for us. I ult Ezreal, I should not have continued running that way, I should have directly went this way. I basically ulted Ezreal to prevent anyone from anyone on this side from actually doing anything to me. So right now, Janna ults us, which is unfortunate. Corky, I stunned Janna into a wall, and we promptly destroy her. And maybe that's a perfect wall on Vlad, and we take him off too. Okay, so now I'm just running around. Not really sure what I want to do. I actually do find Janna. Unfortunately, she ults and flashes, and she gets away. Okay, so Olaf gets hit by Ari's um, taunt. I, but we managed to pick off Vlad really easy because I hit her into a, him into a wall. 
And now we decide, oh, we can probably do Baron, but unfortunately, Malphite lands a perfect ultimate right here. Like, it knocks three of us into the air. And Anivia is doing pretty well, like, she's pretty much doing damage. She almost got um, Ari, so I decided to go in, I charged Malphite to try to Q Ari, but unfortunately I explode before I get the chance to do anything. So, right here, not much is happening. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Alright, so... We want to do Baron again. We explode Ari. And, yeah, I'm pretty low. Like, Ari basically walked in and she, we, they had no wards at Baron, so we just killed her. Unfortunately, we do not get Baron. So I actually decided to go with the Chain Vest. Um, this is just to counteract some of Ezreal's damage, because I realize he's doing a ton of damage right now. He has Bloodthirst, he has Trinity, and he's just hitting like a truck. So there's a ward at Baron from the other team. I actually do some damage to Malphite, not much, but it kind of stops him from continuing his farm. So now it's just a standoff right here. Not much is happening. Like, we take, we trade harass, but overall, nothing really happens. 